so long For my light to shine I've paid my dues Try to be the best I believe Dreams will come true Don't be scared You'll make it true Gotta be strong It won't be long It's my time to rise and shine Somebody say SM the sport here yeah, we talk. We have uh Brian Monibi Day I run the Bani Day and I also have my partner YZ Sports Zia in the studio here yeah, with me and I am Tau ADZ. Okay, let's start with uh, Manchester City uh, against Leeds United coming up by 3 o'clock pm. As we know, Manchester City are uh, battling. Uh, for the Premier League title uh, this season with Arsenal and uh, Manchester City have uh, earned up over Arsenal uh, this season in the Premier League title and now Manchester City are playing uh, by 3 o'clock p.m. today against uh, Leeds United let's start from SMD Sports uh, Manchester City and uh, Leeds United what uh, do you see uh, to be the outcome uh, of the match Manchester City Leeds United because I know all Arsenal fans will be praying uh, Manchester City should either lose uh, or draw uh, a match for them to come back to their position uh, this season um, thank you so much I was a sport um, my name is Sean William should I say the sport um, let's look at uh, Manchester City game this season you say after the game against Arsenal, whereby they won Arsenal uh, for one. For one. It was that's been a very, very uh, difficult uh, team to play in the English Premier League. And let's look at the circumstances uh, of today's match uh, between Leeds and Manchester City. Um, the new coach of Leeds United, Sammy Allardyce, yeah. which everybody called um, Mr. Survivor because he has the this uh, record of bringing to, of, of preventing team from going to relegation. He has done it once with Newcastle United. He done it once with our uh, West Ham United. And uh, I think today it's a very, very, very tough game for Manchester City at the Etihad Stadium. But if you look at the rate at which our Manchester City play, to, uh, play their matches now, you will see the most important player in the squad now is just those. Just those, the rate at which just those played. He played from the midfield, every defense line, and push for the like a little bit. He gave all the midfield of uh, Liverpool uh, Manchester City a freedom for them to roam about. And if you look at Rodrigo, the kind of work Rodrigo did in the Manchester City is quite different from what is what he does last season. This is in he does more, more, more of attacking game compared to last season, whereby he sat in front of the defense and break uh break an attack. But much of the work is now on uh, John Stones. If I, you know, we all know John Stones is the defender. But now he has been pushed to the midfield position. The midfield position. And let's look at our match assistant position. How do you want to start? Oh, it's quite unfortunate that John Stones is not starting, not starting today. Everyone wants to go is starting as which, well. Which, which will, 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 be a, it will be a loophole for match assistant today. And starting from the uh, goalkeeper, uh, Dustin Morales, uh, it was rested last, uh, last match against West Ham United. He's back into the first eleven. We have Amanda um, Kanji, Laporte. We have uh, Nathan Ake. 
in the midfield we have uh, Lewis, the young, uh, young guy, we have Godogan, Alvarez, Kevin De Bruyne, Folding, Mares, and Ellie Haaland. And if you look at, let's look at um, much of uh, listed information, list in information. You will see, uh, Allah is very, very smart. Look at the information it, it comes with. The similar formation with Manchester City. It's going with 3 4 2 1. Whereby Manchester City 2 is going with 3 2 4 1. Two, four, two, four, Almost similar together. But to me, to, uh, this afternoon, I would rather go for a draw match between both teams because it is very, very difficult for Manchester City to beat Leeds for two reasons. For two reasons. They are new coach. They all want to impress the new coach. They have four games left. Plus, Banners, this game, 30 games left. Now, Leeds United are the relegation battle, 17th position. They wouldn't want to go to relegation. That's the second reason. They are fighting for their life. If they eventually lost this match, it will be a very slim chance for them not to go to relegation. So me, tonight, uh, this afternoon, I would rather go for a draw in this match rather than saying Manchester City will win this match. Uh, I would say Leeds should slightly defeat Manchester City. You know, Manchester City at the second position. Leeds cannot do first position, sorry. Leeds cannot do defeat Manchester City just like that. So I said slightly defeat Manchester City. No leads are fighting for the relegation at the 17th position, close to the relegation position. And this is pressure. So they have to defeat Master this match to see what is ahead of them. I would just against, uh, uh, against uh, the, uh, what you said. Like um, Leeds just lightly <coughs> defeat. defeat Manchester uh, uh, City. I would support that in, in the sense that Leeds United, I'm talking about, is a good team. We all know it's a good team. He's fighting for relegation not to go. The new manager uh, uh, that just Sam came Alex. with Sam Allardyce coming in now. He has done it a lot uh, in the Premier League. Uh, when he, the likes of uh, All City, when he, he was there before, he, he went to Aston Villa. He went to different kind of teams in England, which he helps the teams. But presently, at least United, Sam Allardyce may not uh, go to relegation, may not, quote unquote, may not go to relegation if the team are supported with, with, with what the manager wants to do. But when we, we're playing with Manchester City, it's a very difficult match for um, for uh, Sami Allardyce. Like, being the first match, Ma he will play. It. He's not playing against Manchester City that wants to win the league. They were, they, they, were, they were with Arsenal. Manchester City want to win the league against Arsenal. One point ahead of Arsenal. Yeah. Which is very difficult for Manchester City to just defeat. And those are the, if you, if you want to win the league, those are the match matches you must win. Yeah. If you can, if you if you if you don't win all these matches, don't expect the league from from for this season. So those are the matches which I believe Man City should be able to win the, to be able to win against. If Man City should lose the match against Leeds, they should also be be in, in, they should always be in fear of winning the league this season. This season, uh, as you know, if you check uh Sam Allardyce starts against uh Pep Guardiola five matches. Behind some others have lost all five, five. against uh hmm. Pep Guardiola. I believe this can be his first win. Again. Me, I, so to me, I, I, I can't say um, let's say I said we win Manchester City because you could say uh, this is a game of their life, Man City as well. Mm -hmm. If they lose this match, they knew Arsenal is coming yeah. tomorrow against Newcastle United. And mind you, all lies on Manchester City in the Champions League. They have one mind in the English Premier League, one mind in the Champions League. Now let's look at Sami Halladay's uh, first eleven today. He has made a lot of changes the team, to yeah. the side that lost against uh, Bournemouth, four one against Bournemouth. Their goalkeeper mostly uh, sat on the bench. They brought in this uh, Joe uh, Ro 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 They are they are signing from uh, Everton. So you can see it, it, they also have a plan. They have a plan in mind. Don't don't don't, don't be carried away when you see Sami Halladay ending up in playing. For a five or six month event today, you're not going to contain any Haaland and keep their brain process because today this uh list is this year, uh, team is not set as to win the team. It seems allies set this as okay. Let's have one million term, let's have a draw first. Let's look at how we can build on that. But to me, to today, is that much time to win the match or it end up in draw? I don't see this United winning against Manchester City. 
he had a draw the match on Man City, a slight win for Manchester United, Manchester City, or a draw between both sides. Me, I don't go with uh, with uh, the, uh, the others and Manchester City will lose this uh, match. All what you are saying is not entering my mind. I still believe in it, so still, that is a slight defeat, Man City. Okay, let me give, give our hints on our uh, Serie A match. On the half time, Milan is already a uh, win 2 0 against Lazio with Benassa and Tio Enade scoring the two goals for AC Milan. Okay, let's move to Bournemouth at uh, Chelsea. Bournemouth Chelsea also coming up by 3 pm, as I said uh, in the morning, that Chelsea might or wouldn't even uh, gain a point uh, till the end of the season, and also Pochettino might uh, end up meeting them in the EFL uh, next season. And now let's discuss Bournemouth Chelsea. As you all know, I'm going for a uh, Bournemouth uh, defeating uh, Chelsea by 3 o'clock p.m. Let me take it from a uh, uh, Ronnie. Thank you very much. I well, in the first what I say about Chelsea is this. I don't know why Chelsea hasn't announced uh, the, the, the new manager. They are waiting for the season to end before they can announce the manager. The manager. I, I don't support that. If you announce the manager now, the players will know that we are going into uh, uh, the next season with a new coach, coach, with a new manager. But still not uh, announcing it, still holding on to it. They may lose the manager at the end of it. That is how they lose the weekend. They lose Julius Nagelsmann with some little issues, which which comes up. So now if they they be talking about Manchester you know, Pochettino. They want to sit a meeting. They want to have this. So there will be a problem to that. And number two against the match against Bournemouth against Chelsea today. Looking at the lineups which Chelsea made today, uh, to which uh, Frank Lampard did, and uh, starting up uh, keeper Azabalaga as the number one first keeper, he has been using when he has arrived. Now to Ben Chilwell on the left side, on the right side Trevor Shaluba. Uh, oh, the central the central defense. Uh, we Bad have Chelsea see that Ben out by the shield. So in, in the four defense, I, I will see that because using. Thiago Silva and Badia Chiu. If you look, if you look back, using the two players together, it's a good defense. It's a good defense, and they've not lose the match which they use not in the times of um, Frank Lampard. Okay. If, you, if you go back to where, where, when they use Thiago Silva and Badia Chiu, they either draw or they won the match. Now to the midfield now, using Kante, Enzo Fernandez, Gallagher. Yeah. I just see that as a, a good option. But I don't see Gallagher That's in there. Thing. I don't see him starting when Kovac is on the bench. If you have Lotoshik on the bench, even Trevor Shalaba, I, 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 I want to have to use Ivra to be me. I will start Lotoshik on the right hand side because looking at Trevor Shalaba, some matches he played back. Using Trevor Shalaba as, uh, as a right defense, he has been given a problem uh, to, 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 to whoever is coming to attack him. He has been a problem because he can't play all day. He, he can only play, which I see, he can only play as a central defense. That is for Trevor Shalova. So now to the to the forward. I, I even love the forward. But the only thing I'm having, the issue I'm having there is just Kaskava. You know, I don't know why you're starting up Kaskava again. Look at the matches Kaskava play. You know, he's a good player to the managers. But if I want to be the one, where is that to Fofana? What is happening to that to Fofana? They bought, they brought him, uh, they brought in Jato Fofana for him to do what? To help the team. They brought him, why can't you leave him where he is for the whole of the season? That's the point in the summer you bring him in. You bring, you brought in, uh, you brought in uh, Jato Fofana. He's not, he's him. nowhere to be found. He's not even on the bench. bench. Nowhere to be found. Why? So, even Kajabat, I don't see him uh, uh, as a top striker. He, he played as a first time and he played well. When you start talking Kajabat, it's a problem. Now you start up a uh, Mikhailo Mudrik and also uh, Mudri, uh, Noni Madri. Okay. I love the two. I love the two. Maybe they they call on uh, Frank Lampard to, to, to they talk to his brain, so he knows what to do on uh, on the attack. But to the issue of Kavat, just the only problem I have at uh, the forward. So looking at the match today, I will just give Chelsea. Uh, it, uh, I will just give it a drop. Mm -hmm. I'll, yes, I, I'm. <laughs> I'm so you think Chelsea's are uh, taking a point? Okay, let me, let, me, let me give you this. The Chelsea are winning or the Chelsea should draw the uh, match? I support Jack. As, as I'm seeing the, 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 the lineup, presently as I'm seeing the lineup, I'm giving Chelsea a win or draw. I support win that. or draw? Yes. SND Sports. And you know, uh, firstly, I'm saying Frank Lampard. Most of the job that Frank Lampard has been the manager 
Yeah, so it's a tough job. Tough one. Yes, yes, yes. When he left uh, Derby County, he, he did a very fantastic job at uh, Derby County. Uh, whereby Chelsea saw it, but was brought to Chelsea. With a good attention, that players at the disposal, he will be able to do very well. But at the end of the day, what is the hard score? Nothing. The squad he was unable to manage very well was the squad that Thomas Tuchel inherited mm. and won the Champions League. Mm. After that, after he was sacked, he went ahead to Everton. When you see the Everton, they are in the relegation zone. Although at the end of the day, you were able to maneuver your ways, they were escaped the relegation zone. This is in they were unable to cope with the pressure. He was sacked. She also went ahead to recruit to get Lampard again. Tell me. Let's look at Frank Lampard's tactical knowledge. No, <laughs> is Frank Lampard so tactical enough? I don't even see uh, Frank Lampard. Maybe he had a play style. Hobby. It doesn't. Oh, if, I don't see. Does if, you, if you look at Frank Lampard, he's not going to the be, 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 If you look at Frank Lampard, he doesn't have any stable formation. They're just changing information. Let's say, okay, let me say, I'm just trying, trying my luck, try and luck. There are, two, there are two coaches that always do, do does that. Frank Lampard, Stephen Gerrard. Although Stephen Gerrard has, has, has been successful uh, with our uh, Rangers, Rangers and the Scottish, Scottish League, what? That one is not enough reason to say these two coaches, they are top coaches. Hmm. With what we know them for when they are playing. No, at Chelsea, Frank Lampard has used different formation, four different formations at Chelsea in six matches. 3 4 2 3 4 3 3 4 3 3 4 2 3 1 4 1 4 3 4 3 3 5 It makes me think Are you taking Chelsea? Are you using Chelsea as a benchmark for the job you want to get in the Maybe against uh, Manchester City, you use 7 2 1 because Alan is in the eye. I don't see Lampard being a very good Sotica coach aside from me being a very good player in his days. Yeah. But now, with the formation that came up with, to me, I would have loved having a uh, Mendy. I got Mendy. Yes. Uh, 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 let's uh, change the orientation of the players. Let's do players comes in. Now, if you go and look at Chelsea very well, there is no this togetherness, no rapport, no no no, no, no unity within this team. No. I think as a coach, the first thing you should have do for Chelsea is okay. There's these rules. We want to have. A three or four days off from your family. Let's come together. The bond, the bond will be there. Now, if you look at Chelsea, there's a room. It's very small for 30 players to come up with 30 players. Hmm. 30 players? More than 30 players. Now, we have different concourses within the players. As a good coach, we have experience with the likes of Jose Mario, with the likes of uh, Carlo Ancelotti, Felipe Scorari, Gus Indic, as your previous coach. Uh, we'll have a Benitez. I will have a little bit. Sorry for, sorry for this to be that. I even have a problem with that. You know, bringing in top players, bringing in different kind of good players from where they are coming from is even a problem to a team at a time. You know, if you, if you bring in a, 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 a young or no player, you look at uh, when we're talking about, we, we're just talking about this. Look at Brighton. Look at all those problems. Look at Newcastle. Who can you tell me from Newcastle United? Who is the top player at Newcastle? No one. They, are, they brought. They brought. They, you got. They, they bought the Madrid for the likes of how uh, much for eight 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 million pounds or so. Look at Enzo Fernandez. They are bringing top players. If you bring in all those top players, they are not bringing on it. They are doing nothing. So if you, even if you bring in a, 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 a little players, which are not, oh, they are not top. Where they are coming from? They will come there to work. They will come there to do something. Because before, a grandpa was sad. Chelsea is not as worse as this. Uh, they are not. No. They only score. Now, for the past seven years, go and look at Bruno Sancho. The first interim coach after after Adrian uh, Peter was sacked. The first game against uh, Liverpool. Bro. It was just, just was just in luck that day. We have beaten Liverpool. That day because the race that was Chelsea played that day was very, very the surprising. goals that were outside. Uh, yeah. Just like two goals that two day. Goals. Oh, two goals. Like James offside. and the Kayaba. Yeah, I, 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 I was all like offside. Even Jali said, oh, Joao Felix scored with the cancer. Thank you. From then to now, six games. Not since. Only two goals. Very, very worried. What, what, what is wrong? 
But today, I can say Chelsea, I think they will, they will play with the match of their life today. Mm -hmm. And I would say a slight, slight win for Chelsea. Mind you, if Chelsea are not careful, <laughs> they will go to education. <laughs> If they are not careful, they are just getting to be. Uh, uh, I expected you to uh, to have landed since uh, Chelsea. Ten points. If they are not careful, careful enough. I would say this. You know, look at looking at uh, the points behind those are relegation zone. So Chelsea, they are just uh, thirty points, thirty nine points, just nine points, three matches. Three Chelsea matches. just do three matches. Are going to now, next Chelsea game so is at this Nottingham Forest, hmm. fighting for relegation battle. After that, they play against Manchester United. United. They play against Manchester City. Their last match will be against Newcastle against United. Against Newcastle. Ah. Now, will you tell me they will be able to beat Man U, Manchester City, Newcastle United? Even not up for the worst, not up for the, worst, the worst they can get from that match is, is to have a point against Manchester United. I've already ruled out Manchester City and Newcastle United for them. <laughs> I've ruled out Man U. <laughs> don't just believe so, that. To be you do you know say there's something like God of Football. Then football is there dynamic. Is, there you is, know say something there is, there is God of Football. Okay. okay. But let's, when we know the fact is the fact. Let's look at for the fact. No, let's put that for yeah, the angle. Yeah, I ruled out matches. Not, let's put not that for the angle. Okay, let's put that for this angle. Just has played six matches under Frank Lampard. Okay. They lost against which teams? Let's look at the teams they lost against. That's why I said maybe Wait. against Bournemouth to be they there. Lost, they lost. Lampard <laughs> lost his first game. Lost his first game against Wolves. 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 One nil. One nil. Two two nil against Brighton. Against against Real Madrid, Real Madrid in Champions League. Champions League. He lost two one against Brighton and over Albion. Two zero against Real Madrid. Against Brentford last week. He lost the game. Two zero against Arsenal. 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 It's first level against Chelsea. Atta was unable to start party that day. He was unable to start Martinelli, no. uh, Odin. Odin. Martinelli. And, and still he, yet. He has he has a sadness to play then. That was why. Right. Asna. Yes. <laughs> Seriously, so you would have seen you have seen the fearness in the mind, in the heart of Frank Lampard, in the face of Frank, Frank, Frank Lampard. Hmm. Which team does it lost against? Let's look at the teams you want to play now. After the Bournemouth, he was going to play against North, no, North Ham Forest. Hmm. And the two Manchester. He will play against two Manchester and Newcastle United. We know Newcastle <laughs> United. We know. Even though in the regime in the of uh, uh, Grand Potter, mm -hmm. they won Chelsea 1 0. Yes. Man City won 1 0. Master United drew 1 1. They played 0 0. I think it was 0 0 or 2 2 against uh, North uh, Ham North Forest. Forest. Mm -hmm. Whereby, no, it was even, I think it was 1-1-1. It was 1-1. Yeah. Whereby Taiwan won it was, was it wasteful in, in front of yes, goal. But well, today, I will give Chelsea either a win or draw. Okay. Or I even go, I can even go with Bournemouth. No, but no, we, we, let, let, let's know. Be, 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 be precise. Let's be precise. Let's know where you're going to. Don't say because if you go with Chelsea, win or draw, now you're going to. But let's be precise. Which one are you going for? What I'm saying, yes. What are you saying? What are you saying? What are you looking at? I think Bournemouth all the way today. Bournemouth all the way today. That's his own predictions. Are two players here for? I saw some of Chelsea should still win this Bournemouth. That would be Frank Lampard first win. Okay. First win. You believe so? Yes. I trust you. Believe in that Frank Lampard this should be first. Frank Lampard uh, win, win against Bournemouth should against be first win. In Since he has been at Chelsea as a as a interim, interim manager. manager, it has never happened to Chelsea to lose a single game on a stretch. Ever, I've never as had it, it, That's never happened. It, it, no, let's look at let, let's look at the game. You will see, you will see, you will see Frank Lampard sitting position in every match. You will see him as a confused human being. <laughs> confused human being he doesn't know what to do again. Even though if you go and bring Pep Guardiola of this world, just Mourinho of this world. Combine Pep Guardiola, Joseph Mourinho, Carlo Ancelotti, uh, Daniel Klopp together to go and manage this Chelsea squad, they will still not survive because it's beyond the power of any coach at this time. Wherever there is no unity, you can't get a good outcome from the part. But today, I say not uh, Bournemouth winning this game. Okay, there's even a rumor saying Chelsea will bring in Neymar Jr. Uh, next, uh, <laughs> No. I didn't even, I, I was even, when I saw the news, I was even laughing like, oh, no man, you know, so Bolia is just spending, spending, you don't know what lavishly, I, I would say lavish, because he, he, he wants something, 
he wants something out of those things he has been doing. Dream. So I would say lavish. If it were to be Abramovich, you know. So that's why I said I would say lavish. He is spending out of sense. <laughs> no, I would just say that because you just buy top top players. That's what I'm saying. They just bring in the top players, top players to, to the team without nothing. nothing. Not doing anything. You didn't, bring, you didn't give us, you didn't give Chelsea a top nine. You didn't give Chelsea hey, the, 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 what they are expected of doing. You just bring in Neymar. To me, to me it's, it's possible to bring in Neymar as a For what? For what reason? Even they will also wait, bring Messi. Wait, they you know Messi wants to leave. Uh, uh, no, you know what? Uh, you know what? They, they can also can bring in Neymar. Ronaldo and Messi. <laughs> <laughs> the arm are reason for saying such that they can bring in Neymar. You know what? When you when you want to buy a player, you look at so many reasons to sign to sign a player. Some will look at the playing aspect. Some will look at the commercial aspect. How can we generate revenue bringing in a new player? How can we generate revenue? Okay. Look at PSD. When uh, Messi was signed on a free as a free agent from Barcelona, one thing that PSD were able to achieve within 20, within twenty four hours was to sell okay. Messi Jesse, being the all as in ever sales they, they, they ever made yes. from a from a, from a Jesse. Yes, right. Now Chelsea can also bring in Neymar if they if, if they want a commercial. Okay, not in terms of. No, it's the <laughs> Okay, it's about the, it's about uh, the let's take aspect. a okay. short break from here. Uh, when we get back on the break, uh, we continue our discussion on some of the matches coming up today. Do stay with us. Thank you. Oh, Chelsea's call. Appointed severally in the bid to seek a thousand soft travels and talk. We have in depth details to help you put visa. Do you want permanent routine and touring? Student visa to America, Asia, Africa. It's no big deal to us. Tour brings an expertise, speaks volume for us. Let's process and secure. Visa for you, so you and Canada within a twinkle of an eye. We offer urgent Umura services. What sold us at number nine? South South Central Mall, Shalaka Street. I love to tell you a zero Stop wasting money. You pay for peace. One took by you, so you should get super for jealousy. House of House of Ziana, the name I know when we talk of top notch fashion, quality materials, and class. House of Ziana, let him out. Rojulo will talk you with Egypt. I'm one designer bags, more it's a lebata. So, do not want for what region. One go ka jo, ton ka wakat yo jo, designer sunglasses and perfumes. Well, rua won go boom, kami kami, kami, e mini o go gwen yemusulu, mi a lesson, se bogi, gwon pa fashion, se wani lo jalab, ati a baya lori shiri. House of Ziana, leo tiri go gwera, House of Ziana, wane, 52, ona mo shogo, shogo a bel kuta, lori Instagram.
Out of Zion, 081-6568-8618. Out of Zion, Ile Itajata, Atin Tojulo Washo, Atin Kwashi. Lo getting Benini. TV and radio as uh, we know we analyze sports all around uh, on Aliyamoi TV and radio. Okay, uh, Chelsea are already leading with Konogala with a beautiful header. Chelsea are already leading Bournemouth 1 0. Wolves are also leading Aston Villa 1 0. Manchester City leads still new new and Totti and Crystal Palace also are uh, new new. Okay, let's move on to our. Uh, uh, this night man Real Madrid Osasuna in the Copa the Rey final and Real Madrid has uh, no hopes in the La Liga title this season with Barcelona just two points away from lifting uh, the La Liga title uh, this season Real Madrid only has hope in what uh, they have the most as the uh, Champions League and also in the Copa the Rey uh, final today Real Madrid Osasuna are you seeing Real Madrid taking up the Copa the Rey Cough today or Osasuna? Uh, who are you going for? Let's start with that. Uh, yeah. Real Madrid should win Osasuna today, this night. Okay, it says Real Madrid is defeating uh, Osasuna uh, by 9 o'clock p.m. tonight. Are you also going uh, with that? Uh, I, will, so I will support my. This is our uh, under. Uh, you know, Madrid, I, it does, uh, I will say that's the first trophy for Madrid this season. This season. Before yeah. I go into the Champions League against Manchester City. So we can't just decide about that uh, Manchester City. So they have to just have this now. Because the league, they've also bought two, the league like. Um, Arsenal did. No, uh, yeah. you know, Arsenal. You want to say Arsenal have bought the league? No, Arsenal have just have the hope that Arsenal have bought the league. No, they've bought the league. No. They've they 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 lost this match against the that are playing right now. Master cannot lose this match. They might lose the match. Okay, what of tomorrow? Newcastle to Arsenal. Arsenal should defeat Newcastle. <laughs> <laughs> that is so calm. That was I said that Arsenal fans are all spraying that all <laughs> Arsenal match is a win. I know that it is a win. It is possible. I will not say all match the match lose. Two matches. 
Either one draw, one lose, or two lose. Then if Aston can lose two matches, then Aston will lose two matches. No, okay, let's see, let's do like this. Aston will lose all their matches, and Master will lose all their matches. Oh yeah, Master will carry the league. Yes. No, I don't accept that. <laughs> Arsenal is playing against Newcastle tomorrow. Arsenal should defeat Newcastle, but today, to me, to right me, now, to me, Arsenal has already put today. They are, you to already, you, not Arsenal, to me. Arsenal already lift their trophy this season. Champions and explodes. No, that is the trophy we know Arsenal for. At Champions. least Arsenal in the Champions League. What are they looking? What are you looking for? Hey, uh, uh, that's you. I'm still looking for Premier League because since 19 years back, you supported Arsenal with the whole earth. 19 years. Real does as well. Real Madrid does as well. Let's leave that and let's come to us. As well, should we all be Real Madrid as well? Tonight, okay. Tonight, to me, Real Madrid does as well. If you look at it on paper, we we'll say Real Madrid will bring us as well. But this is in that's very difficult for Real Madrid to beat us as well. Please, I want to. Do, 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 what really happened? There's something that really happened to Real Madrid this season. You know. They have, uh, they have uh, a lot of players which are good, they are capable of drawing. So I don't know what is happening to uh, Real Madrid this season. They have a look at the defense, look at the keeper, from the keeper to the defense. So the midfield, they have a good attack. So I don't really know, look at the point b- between Barcelona and Real Madrid. Real Madrid I don't really know, I can't really figure it out. Like, what, what, what is really happening to Real Madrid this season? You know, they are going in the third uh, uh, position. In the, in, the, in the table. You know, Real Madrid has just been... Uh, I don't really... I can't just figure it out. What I can say about what is happening to them. What can I say is, uh, the team is age. They are trying to rebuild. But they have the young, they have young players. They, they have they have the young players. And if you look at Carlo Ancelotti, this is in, he has played more of the old yeah, than the young. If you look at Aurelio uh, Tumani, this guy that was signed with 100 million from uh, AS Monaco. Mm-hmm. How many matches has this guy started this season? That is just a very you, 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 you say, so Can my finger, can my finger, can my finger is barely used from a midfield passes speed. Yeah. He's yeah. yeah. doing that, 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 See him coming inside. Uh, um, by the way, we start with the 4 3 3 formation. Mm-hmm. That's why you see Bernardo Vavad from the flank. But later, mm-hmm. as mass goes on, you will see that 4 4 2 formation. The diamond formation I know Carlo Ancelotti for before. You will see Vavad coming inside, remaining uh, Benzema and finishing. He's using Vavad as a midfield now because we're going to go this side. Now, 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 and now, you now see Vavad coming back to his preferred position. You see Kamal Fingers, a left back. Now you see Vavad, Modric, Cruz. More or less of in the midfield, old 70%, young 30%. Wonderful goal by Manchester City. Gudogan has scored a goal. Oh, oh, no. Oh, Manchester dead. No, Manchester City. Gudogan has done it. Come on, let's get a draw against Manchester not dead. Let's get a draw against Manchester City. I'm going for Manchester City. I'm going for Manchester City. Uh, I'm going for Man City today. Never did those as now. If you look at Real Madrid for attacks, I will I'll put up more of the blame on Casual and Carlo Asilos, and I will not put uh, the blame on him so much because. Go! 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 Hmm. If I'm not bad, have this kind of goal. They scored Chelsea this replicate of goal four or five times. They scored it against, against uh, Brighton and North Albion. Same thing against Aston Villa. This same goal, same goal. See, hmm. Real Madrid owes Azuna. I push more of the blame on Carlo Ancelotti, and the blame will not be too much on him. The um, the man is trying to do a much of uh, man management, player management. You will see everybody team with the same eleven in like ten matches, eight matches, same first eleven. And I, I always think to myself, what is Eddie Nazar doing on the bench? Hmm. Hmm. That's a very tough question. What is Eddie Nazar doing on the bench for the past twenty-five games now? Eddie Nazar has been on the bench, not even coming in at the sun. And you will see Carlo Ancelotti bringing in. In young lot, 17 years old, 18 years old, whereby they are mad are winning 3-0, 4-0. And now we still be on the bench. 
Now, to me, in the first leg of La Liga, this is it, against Osasuna. It's been doing a tough game for Real Madrid. Real Madrid, I think Real Madrid won 2 0 in the first leg. In the second leg, 2 0 against our Osasuna. And in the second leg, in the, in the first leg, it was 1 1. So you can see it's very difficult game. To yes, play against uh, Osasuna. 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 But you cannot you cannot you cannot uh rule uh Real Madrid out of a final when it's got to final. The 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 experience will prevail and go for Real Madrid winning the Copa Dure tonight. Okay, there's even a coincidence that in the back in the year 2014, Real Madrid were at the third position in the league and won the Copa del Rey and also won uh, the Champions League. Uh, they also played against Manchester City, City. Mm. in the Champions League and uh, they won the Champions League that year, 2014. They uh, won the Champions League, they won Copa del Rey. Rey that year, but and they were the third position uh, mm. in the La Liga. Some are saying this is a repeat of what happened back in the year 2014 mm -hmm. but then they had cristiano uh, ronaldo but now he's now more in the team but okay let's see how uh, things go for real madrid against osasuna since all in the house are supporting uh real madrid are uh, defeating uh osasuna by nine o'clock p.m uh tonight okay let's talk about uh uh the father of uh chelsea liverpool uh against uh brentford by 5 30 pm i always call chelsea the kid bro but now mm -hmm. uh, i've seen liverpool as even their great 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 uh grandfather to uh chelsea because liverpool are already uh knowing where they are heading to uh this season we all celebrated chelsea scoring and in no time uh bournemouth has uh, returned uh the goal back to chelsea okay liverpool are uh, brentford uh, it's also going to be a tough match because Brentford have this goal scoring machine in their team. If Van Tony almost uh scoring not only Van Tony, even in Buemo. In Buemo, right. yeah. Buemo. Also almost scoring in Waza. Most of the matches. Don't forget Waza. Waza also now this uh uh like this La, yeah. guy. Uh also scoring in most uh of the matches. Ah, uh, okay, and uh, Liverpool Brentford, uh what are we going to see uh to be the outcome of the match? Liverpool Brentford. With yes. all those goals, Cara Machine, I still believe Lele Vapos will beat, defeat Brentford at Anfield. Okay, because of the quotes, Anfield, because it's not easy to go uh, down to Anfield and defeat uh, them easy. Like yesterday when we were playing uh, uh, FIFA, when some people came down to our abode and thinking uh, they would defeat us, but eventually, uh, oh, uh, the last uh, time we played, uh, they eventually defeated and ran back to their house because they want, don't want to face more defeats at our abode. Okay, back to our discussion. Uh, Liverpool Brentford he said he believes uh, Anfield is a very tough stadium to come on to Anfield and defeat uh, uh, Liverpool. The likes of Arsenal going there with a the draw, Chelsea also going there with a the draw, Liverpool, uh, Tottenham with the loss and all other things are uh, as follows and Brentford now coming down uh, to Liverpool to defeat them is going to be a tough task or what do you think uh, is going to be the outcome of draw. the match a draw yes between Liverpool and uh, even Brentford. the even the goal the even the goal score line between the two will be a two to draw two to draw yes between Liverpool and Brentford because Brentford has been so 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 difficult this season as well you know hey, hey, well, hey, don't tell because they are small Team, you know, small team even they stop the big team mostly. Yeah. So Brentford this season has been a difficult team to defeat unexpectedly. Which you thought you just go there and defeat them. It has been so difficult. So I will see Liverpool struggling to defeat uh, Brentford, Brentford tomorrow, tomorrow, which I believe to my own prediction. I will say it's a draw for Liverpool tomorrow against. Well, I guess uh, I'm ready My five to eight today. Yeah, 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 to defeat Liverpool 3-1. Ah, because then Liverpool were not uh, on their... Start. Still yet, Liverpool has not overcome the bad performance. But we are able to, they were able to uh, use, uh, I don't know whether 
whether they are fans, whether they, are, or they went for a spiritual prayer. Because <laughs> if you look at most of their games, it's barely luck. Hmm. I used to win in late, 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 uh, late win. Look, late. Go and look at against Tottenham Hotspur. Nobody believed. Believe Jota would come. Jota could come on and just cool. score that goal. To me today, I'm going for Brentford. Either Brentford win the match or it's end up in the draw. Okay, Brentford winning the match or it end up in the draw. Time is past spent. Let's quickly go on to uh, tomorrow's match. Manchester United or West Ham. Seems West Ham are going to use their axe to batter Manchester United uh, tomorrow but we don't know how things could go because uh, Mark Alista has uh, used a uh, Brighton name to Brighton uh, Manchester United uh, their last match with Mark Alista scoring the penalty goal in the 99th minutes. minutes with Luke Shaw uh, with an arm ball uh, in the ninth, a seventh minute with VAR eventually punished Manchester United and led to a goal for Brighton uh, in the last match, so Manchester United West Ham. Uh, who do you think is winning uh, the match? Because Manchester United are in the fourth position with 63 points, and Liverpool are at their back also with 59 points. And Liverpool can eventually take up uh, their position because you don't know where football is heading to. Manchester United lose two more matches, Liverpool are back uh, to top four, and West Ham are struggling this season. Because they are also close to the relegation zone with 34 points, those four points away from the 18th position, Nottingham Forest, those four points away. And West Ham have not have lost their last match against Manchester City. Uh, a day new defeat for Manchester City last time. And okay, let's see uh, what is going to happen between Manchester United and West Ham tomorrow by 7 o'clock Before you keep on West Ham, my Manchester City is getting leading lead to know with the one that might go to go also by brace. their captain and as a brace for the Manchester City I still believe you still believe they will still lose the match like 2 zero in the first half mm -hmm. uh, that's, uh, maybe I'll believe draw you believe draw yeah. at this point at this point you still believe must win no okay let's keep on back to uh, what we were talking about Manchester United West Ham Ah, SMD Sports. And to me, uh, Manchester United and West Ham, don't forget, West Ham will be at home. They will be at home to Manchester United. And don't forget, the last match against uh, Manchester City, uh, David Moyes was unable to select Thomas Susek, uh, Declan Rice, and uh, Aguard. They eventually lost the match. And to, to tomorrow, because in the last three games, of the the Moyes against Manchester United, he has failed to win the last ten games against Manchester United. And if you look at the last five matches uh, for both sides, you will see red, 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 red. You will see uh, Manchester uh, West Ham United. They have uh, three lose and uh, uh, they won uh, two times. Now if you look at uh, Manchester United, uh, they won only twice. They lost two and they drew one. The last uh, last five matches. And to me, I will, I will go for West Ham United because they are fighting for relegation too. You don't want to go to relegation. And these small teams, they are very, very difficult to play when at this stage of the league. When you think you can beat them single-handedly, but they, they will eventually spring a surprise. At this moment in time, they know they don't want to go to relegation. And look at Master United performance, their last two three matches. It was very, very woeful performance for them. They were not clinical in front of goal. They were unable to score goals. And West Ham also have their own problem as well. They are able to score goals, unable to defend very well. But to me, tomorrow I go for West Ham United to defeat Manchester United. More mystery on Master United title. I uh, hope of going to Champions League. Okay, there was even a post made by uh, Ole Gunnar Sokja saying after the match Manchester United lost to Brighton, he posted his own match when he was there, he defeated Brighton 2-0 and many fans made comments on the post, that's not where we are going, let's head to uh, a running, what's your uh, prediction on the match, Manchester United against West Ham United? Um, <laughs> you know, what I've been saying, we were quite different, you know, uh, Manchester United, uh, seriously, they are uh, very they're struggling to score, to, to add a goal, which has been so difficult for them. 
So, but I will also support West Ham United, but I won't support them fully. I only support a draw to the both team. It's either Manchester United or a draw. You know, I, I actually, Manchester United are uh, 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 very, very difficult as well. West Ham, look at the match uh, West Ham played against Manchester, Manchester City the last, uh, the last match where they played. Uh, look at the first half. Um, West Ham played well. Manchester City was unable to defeat in the first half. We were unable to score. Well, what happened in the second half is just because, you know, oh, Pep Guardiola is, the, is a very tactical coach, yeah. attack manager. He went on to, 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 to drill the player. You, you need to do this. You need to come out with this. And they actually came out with the results. We, in no time, uh, and that gave us the first goal. So the goals comes in. So if I'm to talk about that, Manchester United did not have, they, 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 what do I call it, they did not have um, the zeal, the morale. the morale to do all that. So I, I would just that's what I, said, I would just believe in West Ham or a draw for the both side because Manchester United this season has uh, also uh, even not because they were so opportuned to have that they could have been uh, they could have been a brother or they could have been a a co a, a co a, a what a, 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 a friend to Chelsea to as Chelsea. well but okay. fortunately they were they were so unlucky to have that so we were so lucky to have that so uh, I give it to West Ham or a draw. To the match, okay. Manchester United should be able to defeat West Ham, even if West Ham are fighting for the relegation. Manchester United are fighting for top four because Liverpool are coming behind them. They will not want to, they do not want to lose the match against West Ham because Liverpool might defeat Brentford today. So Manchester Manchester United should be able to defeat West Ham. Okay, he said Manchester United is defeating West Ham. Why my other two friends here saying uh West Ham is either a draw or West Ham uh wins uh the match uh to tomorrow by seven o'clock PM. Time is fast spent. Uh, we have come to the end. We still have Arsenal Newcastle. You still have Arsenal Newcastle. Should we click it cheap on that? Okay. Arsenal Newcastle. I know where you are heading to. It seems both of you have a dwell on that between Manchester City we and have Arsenal. A score uh, on taking up the league title this season. Okay, let's put the tip on that and after that we we'll round it off from there. Arsenal, Newcastle by 4.30 p.m. Uh, tomorrow, as we know, Arsenal uh, uh, struggling uh, for the league title uh, this season. Let me even say struggling. Uh, already done for uh, the league title uh, this season. Why some are still hoping uh, Arsenal would eventually come up to win the league title. Maybe when all of them are taken to the river and wash all their heads and pray to God. Uh, I don't, uh, in this time, uh, there's nothing like God of football for me. In this time, <laughs> this I don't, time. in this time, I don't believe in, uh, <laughs> in any uh, God no, of football. Jordan, I used to say there's God of football, but now you're saying Yes, but never mind. This is not a game between Manchester City and Arsenal. The very different game ball entirely. Man City will play against different teams. Different teams, Arsenal, Arsenal are playing it. So they all, the both of them have got start to call up. And now, let's put it in your show. Let's look at Arsenal is leading two points against Man City. Do you think Arsenal is the same thing with Manchester City? The mentality is different. A baby coach, an apprentice, with a boss. The very different thing entirely. Oh, it's all a, 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 a baby coach, or what's uh, an apprentice? You know, when they when you are being taught uh, 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 something, they all believe I should be able to do more than the ah, expect of you. Are, you are my apprentice. I expect you to do more than the way you are expected of. Then that is when you give everything you have and you are able to think again. Look at Pep Guardiola when Manchester City played against Arsenal. Look at how it changed. The whole thing entirely. He knows Atta very well. That Atta knows much of things in my Master City, and he changed everything. At the end of the day, he came out with uh, victorious. That is the match against Manchester City and against now, Arsenal. Now, Man City is leading two new against Leeds United. But I still believe Leeds can still do it. No, 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 no. I remember even, no, even without that, even without Manchester City, even without Leeds coming back, I'm not. I'm not even on that. But I'm just still like even on that. Arsenal is playing Newcastle tomorrow. Manchester City are playing their own matches today. Their own match today. So why why would you just believe Newcastle would defeat Arsenal? So I didn't say Newcastle. What's your own take? What's your own take on that? 
If you have to talk about Newcastle and Arsenal now, so what's your take on that? To me, Newcastle and Arsenal. Look at the first league. It draws. It draws. And don't forget, last season, it was this same Newcastle United that preferred Liverpool from Arsenal from participating in Champions yeah, League. Yeah, Champions League. Yeah. Remember they beat, uh, they defeated uh, Arsenal, Arsenal two 0 yeah. at the Saint James Park, the same stadium that Arsenal is going to. That was last season. They are going to Saint James Park tomorrow as well. Now look at Newcastle. That was not the last season we were talking about. That was not how Arsenal played last season. season. You do not, don't get me right. Mm-hmm. They are going to the same venue where Newcastle defeated them to new. At this same point in time last season, whereby Arsenal is looking to play in the Champions League. Mm. No. If it does not be easy for Newcastle in the whole season to prevent Arsenal from defeating them, it has only happened in 2019, 2011. Whereby Newcastle United won one nil and in the second leg. If I, if I remember very well, uh, it was a very fantastic goal from Chick Chiyote, Lake Chick Chiyote, 4-4. Four, 4-4, four. Four, four, yeah. So it's very bullet goal in a dying minute. That was the only season where Newcastle were able to uh, prevent Arsenal from defeating them. But if you look at Arsenal, last five games, it was not very, very good for Arsenal. However, it's very good for uh, Newcastle United. But today, tomorrow, I will, I will go for uh, Arsenal winning the game because if you look at uh, the best way to revenge is to keep silent and go out talking on the pitch. Arsenal will build for what happened last season. Now, Manchester is leaving as well. They want to apply the pressure on Manchester City. To me, tomorrow, by God's grace, I'm going for Arsenal to win the game and also going today for Manchester City to win the game. Balance. That's what my. Uh, uh, I will not support that. that. You will not support, support, support Arsenal support winning support this game. Tomorrow, Arsenal winning the castle. But today, Man City winning lead. I'm not supporting that. Because football is dynamic. Leeds can still come back. So even if it is a draw, it is not Leeds that is leading against Manchester City. Manchester City is it's leading. So yes, Leeds. So Leeds can still equalize. To equalize? To Yes, or recollect. I just love your courage. Okay. <laughs> the, 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 the most funnest part is on the time of possession. It's, it's 8317. Okay, I told you, uh, listeners are playing, we will, will play much of a defensive game to the against Man City. 8317. And you expect this list United to come back and score against Man City? With the possession and everything, I still believe Leeds can still draw against They play. Man, okay. <laughs> uh, we've come to the end of the second edition of Sport Via on Al Iyamoyi TV and Radio. Don't forget to like, comment, follow, and share all our posts on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and all other social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell. I still remain Yezi Tao to tell you a good bye and have a wonderful weekend ahead.